One of our leading stories, a horrific accident on the N2 highway near Pongolo in northern KwaZulu-Natal has claimed 16 lives. According to preliminary reports, a truck collided with a minibus taxi that was ferrying school pupils. Spokesperson for KwaZulu-Natal MEC for Transport, Community, Safety and Liaison, Kwanele Ngalane, joins us now for the department's reaction. A very good evening to you. Really uh, a horrific story to learn of. Perhaps before we go into the details, can you now confirm where the death toll is standing. Well, good evening and good evening to all the viewers at home. Uh, yes, we can confirm that uh, indeed the set day uh, to the province of KwaZulu Natal, uh, and we can confirm that um, the current uh, death toll is sitting at 17, uh, and the highest number of those being uh, young uh, school uh, children. Uh, and two others who were occupants in a bucket that collided with a, a truck on the N2 in Pongolo. Uh, the MEC for Transport, MEC Sipochomuga, has since received a preliminary report uh, from the police, and uh, currently there's going to be further more investigations as more forensic team uh, have descended to the area of Pongolo. Uh, we, we wish to express our Sincere condolences uh, to all the affected families, the schools, uh, and everybody was witnessing this because this happened in a broad daylight on, uh, during the peak hour when everybody was, there was a lot of movement on the road. Uh, and, and we also, again, wish to call on road users in the province and to call on motorists to adhere to traffic regulations and make sure that they take responsibility for their safety and safety of others on the road. Now, it's a very sensitive matter because, you know, it, besides um, the tragedy, it, it affects a lot of children and um, very heartbreaking. How much have you done in terms of communicating with the families of the deceased and um, trying to establish how you can assist? Well, our teams uh, were already on the ground. Uh, uh, because it took long for the accident um, to, 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 for the scene to dismantle as there's been a lot of entrapments. So there's a lot of work that had to be done. The road was closed for long hours uh, uh, as the teams from SAPS, paramedics, emergency, and road traffic inspectorate were working. So you, you could uh, see that uh, there was a lot of devastation because some other learners, uh, the school was not far from where the accident happened and other learners as well were using the same road. Uh, therefore, they could see their colleagues, their counterparts lying uh, on the road uh, and, 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 and their bodies lying down. And it's quite a traumatic experience, I can imagine, because here we are talking about a 5 uh, to 12 year old. That's the age of um, the kids that passed away. So it's quite unfortunate. However, we are working together uh, uh, MEC Tlomuga and MEC Fraser of Education in the province, we are working together, making sure that um, we are going to be moving quickly to that area, uh, providing all necessary support to the schools, to educators and the community, and making sure that uh, as a caring government, uh, we are also playing our role in terms of uh, assisting the families during this difficult time. How did the, the death toll move from 16 to 17? Where, where's the latest victim from? Well, the latest victim uh, is among those who were taken to hospital. Uh, we have just been uh, confirmed that, uh, we have just confirmed that um, uh, the victim passed in hospital upon arrival, and uh, the 16 that was confirmed on scene. Uh, we are also hopeful that uh, those who are still in hospital are going to survive. Uh, however, we have engaged the Department of Health uh, with a view of ensuring that they receive maximum care, uh, and we are going to be putting them in our prayers, uh, and we hope that uh, their situation is going to improve. Mm. Do we know how many um, are still in hospital recovering? Well, not yet, because uh, it was quite a, a big scene, and there might have been those who were walking on the side of the road as well, of the road that uh, could have been affected. Uh, upon the impact of uh, the, the, the accident. So at this stage, it is not clear, but we are gathering as much information as we can. We are working with um, HLA Chuba Hospital, which is a local, a local hospital there, with all the clinics, and we are working with all uh, other emergency services to confirm and verify 
the number of all those who sustained injuries. Uh, and we do wish, to, again, to send our deepest condolences and to wish all those who sustained injuries a speedy recovery. Mm. Laws were tightened uh, several years ago, uh, barring those people who may be transporting children with buckies from doing so. How much do we know about the driver, whether or not he is uh, amongst the deceased or not? Uh, well, the issue of the driver uh, as well uh, is a subject of investigation. Uh, there will be uh, an investigation to verify the driver if he uh, uh, is among the, 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 the two adults that uh, passed away as well. Uh, and upon that investigation, we'll then be in a, a better position to know uh, the status. But however, there will be cases of ca there will be a case of capital homicide that will be opened as a matter of procedure, uh, and, and and also to assist the investigation as well. Uh, but if uh, the, 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 the 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 truck driver as well uh, is found to be on the wrong side of the law. Uh, there will be consequences. Remember that also uh, footage that uh, uh, police have received at this stage uh, from other trucks and other motorists were observing and people were observing on the side of the road. So the investigation is going to not only to focus on the back, on the bucket driver, but also the truck driver uh, as well, because we are made to believe that there is no one who died from the truck. So that is going to be subject of investigation and should it be found that the driver is responsible there will definitely be consequences. Mm. With this uh, accident being such a, a massive one, what do we know about what's currently happening on the road as you and I speak? Has it been reopened? Well, as far as we know, uh, there are still teams that are working on the scene, but the road has been partially opened uh, under the control of the traffic officials. Uh, there will be a full recovery of the truck, which will take a bit of time. Therefore, motorists can still expect that there will be some delays in that part of the province. Uh, but as part of our investigation, we are also sending um, our engineering team together with uh, Sandral, because this is a national road, to also uh, investigate, particularly the stretch where the accident happened, if there are any other improvement or traffic improvement measures that are required or that we can add on. But we know that along that stretch, there is a, a huge challenge of speeding excessively of trucks, uh, and also there are a lot of um, uh, 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 people who are walking on the side of the road. So it's a matter that we need to zoom in carefully and also to see to it that uh, what are the other improvement measures that we are going to be taking in place, working collectively as the province and the national government through Sandra. And perhaps just um, in looking at the, the condition of, of the Baki, and you made mention of, of the truck, that, that nobody uh, passed away from the truck, in assessing the, the accident scene, what do you believe may have happened? Well, uh, from where we are sitting, we do not want to divulge much as a lot of the details are still subject of investigation. Uh, the teams, like I've said, that um, they are still working uh, on the scene, but judging from the, the footage that we've received, it is clear that um, it was a head-on collision. Uh, and for it to be a head-on collision, it means one vehicle uh, ought to have uh, moved uh, from uh, its lane to another, uh, either be, because of speed or because the driver was avoiding something. Uh, it's a matter that is going to be investigated. But for that uh, accident of that nature to happen, there has to be one driver uh, who's on the wrong side. And we are going to be focusing on that. Uh, not only that, because there are many others in the province that um, we are dealing with where drivers have been arrested. Uh, there is one that happened on M70, killing six people. The driver, is, as I'm talking to you, is currently in custody. And before that, there was another one as well that happened in the area of Epopo. Uh, again, the driver, the bucket driver on that one, uh, who was uh, caught um, driving under the influence of alcohol and killed about seven people, he is also in custody for uh, driving under the influence of alcohol and negligence driving. So we want to see the law uh, biting to all these uh, negligent drivers and all those who disregard the, the, the traffic regulations because we are very clear as government that um, these laws that are there, the signage that are there, are erected to make sure that we all abide by them. Should you dare violate each of them, you are then risking the lives of many people, you are endangering the lives 
of many road users. That is why they ought to be respected. That is why they're enforced by traffic police every day. Therefore, anybody who undermines traffic regulations, anybody who undermines traffic signage, that person uh, must be dealt with and that person is a danger to the society. Yeah, very well. Thank you so much uh, for that update.